Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Volatility Report. It is I, Andrew Giovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com. Here's our store. You want to understand about flies, VIX? Um, boot camp is basic option strategy. Uh, probably kind of more beginner to intermediate. Uh, also, trying to understand how the vol products work, how vol works, how calendars work. Uh, hint. Right now is a tough time to have a calendar. Um, uh, today, maybe not, but we'll see, uh, depending, of course, on what kind it is. But we'll see how that all looks going into um, next week. Speaking of, and I believe I have a really cool chart here. Give me one second. One second. Um, uh, that's the SPY IWM. I don't want that one. I want wrong one. Wrong one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is from one of our uh, pro clients. I love this uh, one. Just looking at this was um, real simply. This was December in like 2013 before they mentioned the taper and how the market kind of performed after that, right? So they actually did the tightening. It was a bit of a like, oh, they're actually going to taper, and we took off. And right now, today, of course, we're down here drifting down. So we're looking at the same kind of, you know, it's messy. It's looking at some potential lows here. Look at how poorly the market did right up until, um, right up until uh, the announcement, and then things got a little better once kind of the certainty was in place. I I think that's certainly a possible. Those aren't uh, wasn't my uh, observation. It was a a client's observation, but I like the observation. I like it a lot. Um, meaning there's a lot of uncertainty still around rates because they haven't made a decision yet. That's making the market more volatile. That's making currencies volatile. You know, that was the SPY, Bob. He's asking what the symbol was. Sorry, that was just the SPX. Right? So that's just what – so setting up – you. I mean, right now, this is what I call the rubber band being stretched. Um, if you've got positions where you own some puts, you're long some volatility products, um, you know, probably a good day to lighten some here. You're starting to see, you know, pretty solid levels in just about everything. I'm looking at UBXY here, right? Not quite up to where it was. Now, this was kind of all the September, you know, mayhem here. So, we're, again, the vault products are not near those levels. They're not even near the highs that they were uh, just a couple of weeks ago. But it looks like they want to get there. Uh, looks like they want to get there. Uh Again, I don't know how high ball can go because that would mean I would have a crystal ball. But it is it is catching a bit of a bid because the market's moving, right? And right now, by the way, um, where VIX is, where the SPX is, you know, that movement is priced in. Okay, the movement is priced in. Uh, it's funny, Mark and I were laughing a couple of days ago. We were looking at next week's. Uh, Rattle in the SPX and it was 50 bucks. We're like, and we looked at it on Tuesday. We're like, that doesn't seem a lot for you know the potential that could happen, two percent move. And I think that straddles now about 90 dollars. So, you know, everything, all movement, of course, is relative. And you know, if you think the Fed, with the you know Fed says anything that makes the market happier. Do can equities scream up to 2100? Now all of a sudden that's 75 handles away. So just you're looking at the potential move and can we break 2000? Sure, we could break 2000 in an hour. So uh, the market is getting less liquid into the Fed announcement. It's making everything more prone to swing. But if you have long volatility, I think it's probably a good time to start getting rid of some of it, giving it back to them. Um, and sort of setting up for a potential legs up, setting up trades that have a potential leg up with a disaster down, right? Just because I think the the breadth of the bounce could be, you know, fairly good. I don't think we make all-time highs, but I certainly think we could bounce up another 50 handles without any trouble at all. 
Um, it ain't happening today, I don't think. Uh, yesterday, we it was a very odd market day as far as market action went. Um, it kind of struggled to close a little bit higher. And today now we're about ready to kind of get down to that, you know, that kind of yucky level there where if see if every if the oil the you know the issues with oil kind of wrap everybody up a little bit which is certainly possible because right now as far as equities goes it doesn't look like that much bad stuff and I believe junk bond fund had to uh, freeze uh, investors so that's kind of the first usually the first shot across the bow like I said it usually takes three things in threes to make the market and volatility rocket over 20, right? So I talked about this in the vol report yesterday. We had uncertainty about oil. We had the Fed, you know, non-decision, right? But maybe a decision. And now you have a junk bond unwinding, and that's enough to send vol over 20. And here we are today with VIX trading 21 and a half. So usually it takes three solid kind of what I'll call macro type events to make vol go over 20. And we're there. Just like that. So, uh, with that, I would um, I think that's what we have. I think you're gonna, you know, you could see more weakness everywhere. Um, also, look at the treasuries just running like crazy. Uh, and I think the vol was actually pretty low in here. Uh, they crushed the vol in the TLT yesterday pretty hard. Uh, as I, I was looking, uh, we were looking at, at it. Let me get my tick chart up of it. And that will finish us here for this morning. Right. Take a look at what they did yesterday, right? Yeah, right. That shorter term dece, right? right? From 15, it took about one point of all out. Today, those a different story. Okay. Right. Again, looking for you know potentially massive moves in these products. So that's what we're setting up. Oh, look at that LinkedIn up on the day. So again, it's more of a knee-jerk reaction to things rather than really bad news. But after the market's already at a once VIX is already you know at a higher level, it doesn't take much to push it higher. All right. All right, everybody, I'll see you in our chat room today. And uh, like I said, probably a good day to unwind some of those long ball positions. All right.